Warning. These are my opinions, not based off of factual evidence. If you like an album I don't, don't get overly aggressive in the comments section about it. Just disregard my opinion and keep enjoying the album. Hey, what's up guys? It is me, Metalhead. And we are reviewing yet another LP. I am enjoying this. I like sharing my opinions about music. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, let's jump into the LP review right now. So... For today's LP review, we are reviewing Rusko's songs. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Rusko, he is an English dubstep producer and DJ from Leeds, West Yorkshire, England. And he is known for producing a few EPs and one other full-length LP called OMG. Um, now, for those of you who are not, I mean, that are familiar with Rusko, you'll know that in the beginning of his career, he was the... Um, he kind of embraced the stereotypical dubstep, heavy, drop, bass-filled um, drop that you would find in a Skrillex song or a Flex Pavilion song or a 16-bit or bass nectar song. Um, <coughs> and then with each EP and LP um, release, he tend to gradually go away from that and kind of create his own spin-off of dubstep. Um, in many various ways. For example, um, OMG, the song Rub a Dub Shakedown. I mean, I do realize that reggae is an L, like kind of a almost gave birth to dubstep in a sense. Um, but I haven't really heard, you know, dubstep with a relaxing reggae beat behind it um, that brought this, you know, kind of relaxing feeling. Um, that didn't make you want to go rage at a rave or something that many Skrillex songs would do to you. Um, with Rub a Dub Shakedown, it was very relaxed. And this is what Rusko's songs, um, the songs LP has taken. Uh, that's what it's really got um, driven towards, is the reggae relaxing beat. Now, occasionally you will find um, sort of a, a raging dubstep rave song that's fun to listen to every now and then but by far the majority of the songs on Rusko's new album are going to be of that reggae relaxing feel and I'm not really sure if there's a name for it like if there's a specific subgenre uh, of dubstep that does support this kind of um, you know music um, and feel behind dubstep but it is obviously not known very much in the uh, the pop crowd that knows of dubstep and are fans of it um <coughs> now this is where people are going to get discouraged by rusko's new album songs um is because of that fact now like for me i'm not really so reliable on or, i mean that i don't really rely on dubstep producers to make nothing but heavy filled bass dropping insane oh, drops um, so it doesn't really bother me. In fact, I really like this, this whole field of this reggae feel that's just relaxing and, you know, you could like pretty much listen to it while you're reading a book or doing homework or relaxing in your room. Um, but I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people that don't like this feel. In fact, I've gone on like, you know, little iTunes album reviews, and I've seen people that say, oh, this is not the same Rusko that I first discovered when he first came out. I want him to release those heavy filled, heavy bass drops craziness um, that you would find in, for example, like Skrillex's Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites or Flux Pavilion's I Can't Stop. Um, so, for that part, if you are into just the, like, heavy bass filled drops, then you're probably not going to like this LP, but if you like experimental like dubstep um, groups or individuals, Rusko might be your thing because you never know. It could always, you know, just, you could have a knack for it like I do because I, I honestly didn't really think I would love this LP as much as I do, but I really, I really like it and I'm enjoying it and I'm it's just a fucking solid EP or LP. Um, so... My favorite songs on this LP by far are going to be the uh, reggae-esque dubstep songs. Um, the two that stood out for me were Skanker and Mech More Green. Both, you know, had a good dubstep wub 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 to it. Um, 
I want to say Skanker was, you know, a little bit more up-tempo, but still relaxing, and then Mech More Green was just relaxing. You could just pretty much listen to it as if you were just laying in bed almost. Um, so, <clears throat> this feel is an interesting feel, and for that, this is my opinion, I give it an A-. minus. I feel this is a solid, solid LP um, from Rusko. I would listen to it a few more times. Maybe I would put this album on repeat for a few days, maybe even a week. Um, and then I'd probably put it down. And that's what's not giving it the A+, plus, is that it's not like, oh my god, I have to listen to it every waking minute of my life right now. It's good. I like it. I'm loving it. But, you know, it doesn't have that, oh my god, that's amazing, wow factor that many other albums have had on me before. So I could give this album a reliable A-. minus. Um... Tell me what you guys think about it. Go listen to it. Go buy it. I really recommend that you buy music and support artists like Rusko that you know are not as big as, say, Skrillex in dubstep that probably makes millions and millions off of dubstep and can't even release a damn fucking full LP. Um, I love Skrillex, but goddamn, dude, you gotta release more than EPs. Um, <laughs> so, if you guys like this review, like if you guys like this album, please let, leave me the comments, it, just whatever you have to say. So, so next time guys, I will see you later. Peace.